And you know what? Normally, when you think of chowder, you think of it as a winter dish, right? But it is actually perfect for summer as well. So here to show us is the senior food editor at Yankee Magazine, Amy Traverso. Hi. Hey. Welcome, Amy. Yeah. Welcome back. Thanks for so being here. Me. It's been and of course, to be Cameron back. and Kim and Maria, yeah. they've all bellied up. They're so excited to have right. this. Feel digging because oh, it's really, well. really yummy. And it has That's all the ingredients nice. you would grow in your garden in the Ooh, summer. And it's so fresh. good. Right. And we, we were talking earlier. We were yeah. both New England girls, yes, right? So we, we love a good chowder, right? Yes. Like clam chowder. I mean, mussels and chowder. But not everybody mm -hmm. thinks of mussels as like the go-to for chowder. Why right. is it so perfect for this dish? Okay. What I love about this dish is it's so streamlined because usually chowder will have some kind of a, you know, a shellfish like right. clams. Mm -hmm. And then it'll have like a bacon, something smoky. Oh, and nice. those two flavors are really signature. Mm. In this case, we've come Combine them with smoked mussels. Now oh, I'll tell you, they are so delicious. And I was skeptical about smoked mussels. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. Yeah, I like my regular mussels. So <laughs> good. They are so they good. Are. It's like a light smoke. It's not overpowering. Oh, and they're they're really a yeah. signature ingredient from Maine. There's some producers like Duck Trap River, and you can find them in a lot of supermarkets, like where you would buy tuna fish or clam juice or any of those things in the supermarket. Right. So look for them. They come in tins, and in fact, tin seafood is such a hot trend right now that like really? wine bars have like entire menus of like sardines and smoked mussels and smoke it's it's cool so you're so saying you don't need to just go like super fresh like no. the tin stuff is really good no and the nice thing for actually like mussel producers is when you 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 can preserve them it's not a product that expires so mm. it's actually really good for the farmers too it gives them like a more steady revenue stream so Great. many reasons to try these if you haven't okay yeah. all right how do we get started okay we some onions over so here yes going? we've got a lot of chowder start with like an onion mm -hmm. base so we've got some onions in butter and it's cooking away Which and it I could eat smells with amazing yeah, yeah it's still so good and now we're going to add our ingredients that take a little longer to cook like we've got some zucchini and you know in the okay. summer everybody's like if you grow zucchini you're like trying to get rid of it and you know in Vermont there's a joke if uh, you can't lock your car doors in Vermont in August because your neighbors will like leave zucchini in your car that they're trying to get rid of <laughs> so people will take things out right. no no yeah, they'll put things sure. in it's That's really funny. funny okay so we've got some zucchini and a little jalapeno now if you don't like Ooh. spice this is not a taste it. it's not a spicy dish no. at all it just adds like a little bit of a vegetal flavor yeah. a little bit of like that green and a tiny tiny bit of heat but not so you're just eating the jalapeno chopping yes it, putting cho it in. yeah exactly okay. you take out the veins and the seeds and that will get rid of most of the heat so this is almost like a green pepper at this okay. point so we're gonna let that cook for about five minutes all right but to keep things moving I'm gonna add now a little bit of flour now chowder it's in thickness it's sort of just like between a soup and a stew so we're gonna add this flour to thicken it a little so it's not just a soup and we're gonna let that kind of stir it around and let it combine with the butter and the juices from the vegetables and that will cause the broth to really thicken up and be nice and hearty and more like a meal and less like just Are there any snack. other thickening agents that you can use other than flour? Yes, like if you're gluten free, you could use cornstarch, you could use tapioca flour, like there are a lot okay, of so alternatives. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Curious, yeah. You don't have to use white flour at all. So now we've got that and we can add our liquid because now it's ready, it'll right. start to thicken up. Thickening. So I'm gonna first add some white wine. Now I like to use, when I'm cooking generally, I like to use something like a Pinot Grigio, something light and dry. That's always a good go-to. If you see white wine in a recipe, go to Pinot Grigio. So, and I add that first because that will cook off the alcohol. So this will kind right. of bubble up and that will, the alcohol will cook off so nobody will get drunk yeah. off your chowder, <laughs> right? No, so we don't want that. Yeah, <laughs> and then we'll add the rest of our liquid. So I've got some chicken broth. This could also be seafood stock if you have it. It's just a little harder to find. Okay. Chicken broth is just fine Could here. you do vegetable too? Totally, you can okay. do vegetable broth. Yeah, so if you don't eat meat but you do eat seafood, this is a great dish for you. Yeah. It doesn't change the flavor too much going from vegetable to uh, seafood to... It, I think the ingredients, it it's subtle okay. and the ingredients here are strong enough that it won't it. it won't be a problem like Good. it won't throw it out of balance. I've noticed you're adding like everything kind of like one at a time not like yeah. kind of throwing it all in. Why do we do that? You know you can it's you can fairly well throw it in but like the zucchini goes in first because that just takes a little longer to cook than say the corn which is coming later. Oh. So you're just kind of timing those it. Those probably don't want to cook you, too long. All right? you want to do is like heat those through. Got so it. You, don't, you need barely oh. any time. Okay so these are all in here so now it's going to turn a pretty red and it's starting to look like a nice chowder. Mm -hmm. So once those cook for about five minutes, we can do our little, our more delicate ingredients. Yeah. So we've got some beautiful corn. Now you could totally use frozen corn. Fresh is really nice in the summer. There's nothing better, but don't let that stop you from making
making this dish on a weeknight. Like just use frozen corn, it's totally fine. And then we've got our mussels. So these are gonna be a major flavor um, booster I'm in this dish. The bowl. You are? <laughs> so I am. There, so there's the nothing left in Isn't it great? Oh, I just really love this. And I love that it opened my mind to cooking mm. with smoked yeah. mussels. And it feels like a little bit of a lighter chowder to yes, me, which makes it, it perfect is. for summer. Yeah. Yes, it's not like, like super creamy yeah. and heavy. Yes, and for, you know, you could do like a loaf of bread and a nice salad and you've got a perfect summer dinner. So this is just a little bit of spinach. Mm -hmm. Spinach will cook so quickly, five minutes and you're done. And then I'm just gonna add a little salt, pepper, and thyme for seasoning. Mm. And that's it. While you're Amazing. finishing that up, I wanna ask you about uh, Weekends with Yankee, or the co-host yes. of the show, mm. season three coming up. What yes. can we expect? So Weekends with Yankee is a national show that focuses on New England travel. It's um, rolling out across the country on public television stations, so you can check your local listings. And actually, it's funny, we're cooking with mussels. We did a really fun segment where we visited a mussel farm in Maine wow. called Bang Island Mussels, and we watched them being pulled out of the water. They're just gorgeous. Wow. They grow on oh these ropes, goodness. and then I got to go to visit Jacques Pepin in his kitchen, and oh we cooked gosh. with mussels. It was amazing. So were those like the segment. best thing you've ever eaten in your life? They are the plumpest, most delicious mussels. They oh really are gosh. exceptional. I'm from New England, as I was saying. Take me with you. I'll show oh, you my favorite. Oh, please come! Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it all but those spots too. Because I feel like when looking for yes. mussels, like how do you know that they're like fresh, and, right? Like the best ones. Okay, so what you want? You want your mussels to be closed. See, so see how this one is nice. And, right, right, right. So that means it's alive and it's 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 healthy. Okay. It's now sometimes nice. they will open because that's how they feed and that's very normal. What you want to do is you tap the shell and you want to see them close. It takes them about thirty seconds. So okay. if it doesn't happen right away it does not mean that the okay. muscle is expired but oh, if, see, it's yeah it's closing up. do you see that oh, wow. so Whoa. but if they stay open wow. and don't close at all toss it because it's it's okay. not fresh anymore and you don't want them to be cracked or broken and then you're good all right and you're maybe a little that. sniff give them yeah. a little sniff <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, that'll give it away right yeah. so then should we should we serve it up and yes. taste it yes. okay yes. Oh, you're Let's gonna love it. i've got my own bowl right over here all right you got your bowl you got yours for sure have a i've got one that's all done here Look at Fully that. There cooked. It is. The so, so good. And I'm just going to garnish it with a little bit of fresh thyme for prettiness oh. and flavor. But I really did uh, appreciate the smokiness of it. Isn't it it really it's adds a lot. Such a big difference. But it's not overwhelming. No, no. not very subtle Excuse and nice me. and fresh for summer. Mm -hmm. no if you, doubt um, about it. you know, if you if you're vegan, you don't you don't have to add the mussels. You could add smoked paprika instead oh. for a smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So you good. can really adapt. It's a very adaptable dish. Well, Sorry. enjoy. We all did up here yeah, on the counter. Yeah, so have a taste, everybody. Full recipe. Go. We'll be at Hallmark Channel. And you can check out Yankee Magazine online.